This is my 1951 Oldsmobile Super 88. It's powered by an Oldsmobile 303 rocket V8 engine, one of the first overhead valve engines ever offered. This car has survived for 73 years so far. And today, I'm going to try to uh, do some maintenance. I'm going to clean and service the original oil bath air filter. I'm going to overhaul the original uh, carburetor on it. And then we're going to take it for a drive and see how well we did. See if we can get old Christine here to run good for us again. Hey, Jim. Let's see what we got here. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. So I have been putting uh, a little bit of my linseed turpentine oil in here just on this one little area. And as you can see, it looked beautiful. So I'm going to have to try that a little bit here uh, when I get time, you know. But today we're going to be taking off this crazy air filter. This is an original equipment oil bath. Uh, this is the heavy duty. This was an optional uh, piece. I'm not sure how much the option was. I can't imagine it was that much, but it is an optional heavy duty uh, oil bath air, uh, air filter. So we're going to take that off and we're going to service it. And let me tell you, the servicing on it is ooh, a little bit uh, different than today. Uh, you just replace the filter with another one, uh, but not this one. This one, you have to actually clean the, uh, the filter medium. And to clean it, you have to dip it in a bucket of gasoline or kerosene. And that is according to uh, factory General Motors instructions. So that's going to be fun and interesting. And then we're going to pull off the carburetor under here and overhaul it. And uh, the overhaul we're going to put into it will be all parts that will be compatible with ethanol. Ethanol, that corn uh, stuff made out of corn that they add to gasoline these days, is really bad for old engines, old uh, fiber-type uh, gaskets or old natural rubber O-rings, that kind of stuff. Ethanol attacks it and causes all sorts of trouble. So I'm just going to overhaul that carburetor to make sure that it's ethanol uh, compatible and everything else on this car and the fuel system is new, right up to this uh, filter. There's a whole new gas tank, all new lines, new fuel pump, all that stuff is fresh. The only thing that doesn't look fresh, this carburetor. We're going to change that right now. First thing I'm going to notice here is normally when you go to take off an air filter, you would take off a wing nut that is up on top here which this one is missing i'm going to have to order one of those but that is not how you actually take this one off if you take this one off you have a little knob here that you have to undo and once that's undone then the whole thing will lift out and grab it from the bottom before uh, they warn you in the uh, shop manual to not pick it up by the top and let this bottom part fall off on the floor. So we'll just take it up from the bottom and move it over to the workbench. There's that little handle that I loosened up and it slipped right off. You well, we can see under here, it just slips right there over the inlet of the carburetor and then you take this top off so what we have here is this oil bath unit and it's kind of dirty that's not very good so i'm going to clean this completely out uh brake clean or something like that and then it's supposed to be filled with oil all the way up to this edge right here. So this is very low on oil, which is not good. 
but we'll take care of that. And then this top part, you have to take this apart and get, I think, take this apart. But anyway, you have to uh, dip all of this uh, uh, filter element stuff in, they say, gasoline or kerosene. So I'm going to get a bucket. We're going to be doing some dipping. Okay, well, maybe I'm blind, but I don't really see a way to take this apart. I mean, that looks like a spot weld. This is a seam. Uh, I don't really see. Maybe the, you're just supposed to clean the whole thing. Let me research this a little more. Okay, here it says, remove wing nut, securing filter element to intake silencer. Okay. Uh, remove oil reservoir from heavy duty cleaner only, which is what we've done by separating the two. Uh, remove filter element. So they're calling that top piece that's all metal and welded together uh, that's the filter element. So wash accumulated dirt from the filter element by plunging it up and down several times in a can of clean gasoline or kerosene. <laughs> okay. And, uh, on the heavy duty cleaner, the element should not be oiled, but the reservoir should be cleaned and refilled at the indicated level with a pint of SAE 50. All right clean the filter element i really don't want to use gasoline so i'm going to use some kerosene pretty cool that i have a need in my life for a bucket of kerosene there we go i'm going to go put on some gloves well, Oldsmobile says to plunge this into this kerosene several times. Mm. Definitely uh, getting the kerosene dirtier. I think I'm going to do this a bit more than the directions say because it looks like it's really extracting a lot I'm starting to see the appeal of gasoline because now uh, I have this big metal thing and it's full of kerosene and that's going to take a lot longer to dry if it was gasoline this would Try much quicker, I think. Mm. Oh well. Certainly did take a lot of dirt right on out of there. Well, I've cleaned out this whole oil receptacle and look at all these scratches on the bottom. This is of course the part that tighten it, tightens it onto the carburetor. Look at all of this. Every one of these scratches it tells a story. So I'm happy to see this. That means this car's been serviced a lot. <laughs> so really appreciate that. This is what we get after it settles over day, overnight. So you can see all of the dirt has pretty much just settled to the bottom. So I'm going to pour off the clean stuff. I'm going to clean out this other bucket, pour it off, then I'll clean out the dirt from the bottom. Put my uh, uh, used kerosene back in here and put a lid on it and I've got it to use again. Nice. And that worked out pretty good. 
Uh, I recovered most of it. I didn't even filter it. I could probably put it through some cheesecloth or something like that and make it look a lot nicer. But all of that dirt stuff stayed in the other bucket and I just wiped it out and tossed it. So my producer has informed me that the carburetor rebuild is not going to happen on this video. Today, it's just going to be about the oil bath air filter. I'm going to start on this carburetor right now, and I'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.